Hey guys, it's Beta. Today we're going to talk about this little device, the Moto E. I've been using it for a few days and one of the things I figured and I really realized that was a very nice feature and I wanted to share with you was the sound that this guy can pump out. Let's check it out. With this example, I want to show you guys how loud it can actually get compared to an audio meter so you can see what it comes in. So if I go quiet and I just don't say a word, You can see here we get down to the whisper level, which essentially is the kind of ambient sound level that you're going to expect in a room when there is no sound. And if we go in, I'm just going to play a song and see how loud I can get the speaker to go. So the loudest I was able to see, actually, I think I saw 77 dB. It actually goes pretty high, and this is not exactly one of the loudest songs I've actually played in the past. Let me see if I can find one that is pretty loud, and hopefully it will give us the ability to kind of get a, a better gauge of how loud this device can get. You notice that it almost went to 79 and it actually can get pretty loud. Again, it's a front facing speaker that gives you the benefit of just being able to get really good sound. And again, $150 right out the door. The presence of the actual speaker in the top side, the same place where your earpiece is, has two things. One, it's a great thing for the fact that it actually has a front facing speaker. Now you have a sound directly coming at you when you're listening to music or when you're watching videos on this device. It's a smaller device, you know, again, that's without question here, but the fact of the matter is for the price and what it offers, it's really packed with some nice little features. So today we're focusing on the sound. And what I like about the fact is that speaker sound or when you're using it to make a phone call, a conversation, it worked really, really nice. Even in a car, I was able to actually listen very clearly to the other side and they could hear me very nicely. So call quality with the speaker extremely well. And of course, when you're playing music, you're able to actually pump out a lot of sound from that speaker because it's such a big grill. Uh, the one thing that kind of reminds me of this is it looks very reminiscent of the one on the Nexus 6, the way it's actually protruding, the way the design is, and they actually can give out some good sound as you saw with the hands-on. Um, again, a lot of nice little features I'm experiencing and I'm using with this device. I'm almost at the end of my actual week of using it, this as a, as a daily driver for my work, and it's really showing itself to be a very good device. And it hands up, it's basically just stands up to anything I can shoot at it. Uh, I've been taking pictures, videos, watching media on it. I'm not... I'm not using it in the sense of what it's supposed to just be just for work, for reading emails. So it's been working more and more as obviously being a new device, I'm being more intrigued with it. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos of this on my channel. And then of course, all of this is going to culminate into a video review on XTA and a mod review. So I'll see you guys soon.